Hi everyone and welcome to Backcountry Toolshed. I want to do a quick video today, a uh, hands-on comparison of a couple of very nice Ukrainian small hatchets or hand axes. Uh, one being the Beavercraft carving axe and the other the BPS bushcraft axe, both of them with other sheaths. Uh, both very nice hatchets in my opinion and both also very reasonably priced so I'm excited to give you a glimpse of these. Uh, I, I made a video of the BPS bushcrafting axe a couple of days ago, but unfortunately that video really didn't live up to my hopes in terms of some issues with the video quality as well as the sound quality. So I'm trying this one on some on a new camera, different microphone, and I'm hopeful that this one will do it justice. So uh, we will start with the Beavercraft carving axe. comes with a leather fairly minimalist sheath has this stamped Beavercraft logo looks pretty good interesting uh, kind of texture to the leather uh, you can really make it out through the video but uh, it, it's pretty nice it's it's not the thickest but it's probably fine for its purpose some people probably prefer that having just enough to get the job done um, I'll show you how it compares with the BPS hatchet sheath in a bit. It's a little bit more heavy duty. I, I might prefer that myself, but this one's also pretty nice. It feels good. It's good uh, quality material. <clears throat> this uh, can hang on your belt for a convenient carry. This is a hand forged axe head. Made in Ukraine by Beavercraft. It's a uh, very nice. These uh, these these blades are, are pretty highly regarded. Uh, the reviews are pretty much unanimous. There's a consensus. These are high quality blades. With the uh, the only major complaint that I see about this hatchet would be around the fitment of the blade to the handle, and you can see there is maybe a bit of an issue with that with this particular example. Uh, some people have had uh, pretty blistering complaints about the that gap and whatever material that is that they're filling that with. Epoxy, I think, is what one reviewer speculated that was. And that's not great, but I mean, the fit's not terrible either. This is a hand-forged axe, so there's going to be some unique qualities about every one, I would imagine. And, and I think the fitment's really not terrible. It, it fits pretty well on this side, at least. On most sides, on this end, too. I, I, I expect this will probably hold up pretty well, but time will tell for sure. The uh, handle is very nice. Got some nice uh, curves to it. Feels good in the hand. Uh, this Beavercraft logo appears to be laser engraved into it. Looks pretty good. Overall, it's a very nice hatchet. I'm happy with it. I uh, paid $69.99 for this hatchet, I believe. That's the current price anyway on Amazon. I haven't owned it for long. It's a 12 inches overall length, 3 eighths inch Scandi grind. And again, very nice blade. That much is not in dispute. with some just questioning the construction as it's attached to the handle, so time will tell. Oh, and this, this hatchet has a 2.7 inch cutting blade, which is a little smaller than we'll find on the BPS bushcrafting axe, which is interesting. It's, uh, the weight is mostly concentrated in the head on this hatchet, whereas the weight is more more distributed with this one being a full tank construction. So that's another thing that uh, time will tell how, how that works out in the field and in actually using these hatchets. So taking a look at the BPS bushcrafting hatchet, you can see here, I mentioned the, the quality of the construction of the sheets, or not necessarily the quality of construction, but the, the durability of the material. This uh, BPS sheath, as with other BPS sheaths that I own, the, the quality is very good. Uh, thickness 
pretty pretty substantial. You can see the side by side comparison. Again, some people might like the minimalist approach with just enough to get the job done, and this is probably that. Um, I would prefer probably this very durable BPS sheath. The uh, the belt loop portion is a similar construction. Very heavy duty. And again, side by side. They're both fine. They'll both get the job done, I'm sure, but I give this one a slight win <laughs> for myself, anyway. Um, so, the BPS bushcrafting hatchet. It's got a uh, carbon steel 1066 blade made in Ukraine. Also with a Scandi grind. Looks to be about a 3 8 Scandi grind as well. This one has a, a longer blade. This blade is 3.34 inches, the cutting edge of this blade, whereas the like this one was 2.7 inches. The weight of the head of the Beavercraft hatchet is uh, rated at 13 to 16 ounces. I didn't have any way really to weigh it, so I just have to take them at their word. Whereas the overall weight of the entire uh, BPS Bushcraft axe is 17.2 ounces. So this is a uh, pretty lightweight. Uh, but it feels good. I think it's uh, got enough weight to get the job done, but not not so much that's going to weigh me down if I want to carry it in my pack. So overall, I really like the feel of this one. It's got the full tang construction. I was uh, speculating in the last video I made that this was possibly a quarter inch thick or maybe a little less. Sure enough, it is a little less. It's 0.2 inches, but it feels quite substantial. It's a uh, definitely thick enough I would, I would say you don't want it uh, any thicker I think would just weigh me down unnecessarily so I don't want that this one is 9.2 inches overall you can see it is uh, really quite compact with that larger cutting edge but just a smaller overall total package there if I were only to buy one of these today I would probably choose the BPS and part of that comes down to price this is currently priced at $54.99 on Amazon versus $69.99 on Amazon right now for the for the Beavercraft carving axe and uh, that, that'd be enough to sway me this, this one is just very nice I mean when you hold this in your hands you can see it's a very very high quality piece. It's, it's really nice. Not to say that this one's not. I mean, this one, again, this is hand hand forged. The, you're you're going to have some unique characteristics of any hand forged axe, and, and this might actually suit a lot of people's fancy a lot a lot more than this one. So, and that's fine too. Like I said, I'm happy to own both of them. I've carried this one in my pack a little bit. It's not uh, not too bulky or too heavy that it weighs me down or anything. I'll undoubtedly carry it again plenty more times in the future. That uh, basically concludes what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I do intend to post a lot more bushcrafting gear related content in the future. So uh, if you're interested in that sort of content, I would definitely appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. I will be uh, reviewing some BPS knives uh, upcoming very soon. I own uh, three BPS knives so far. Very happy with those purchases as well and uh, look forward to sharing those with you. Thank you.